project finance is the most common method for private sector financing of a public-private partnership, or a PPP. When a country wants to develop and construct a project using project finance, they seek a sponsor to invest equity and a lender to provide long-term debt financing in an amount based on the expected cash flow generated from the project. The project itself serves as the primary collateral for the loan. The financing is a combination of the equity investments of the sponsors and loans from the lenders into a project company formed specifically to develop and construct and sometimes operate and maintain the project. There are many benefits to the project finance structure for PPPs, including providing governments with access to external financing to tackle funding shortages, which frees up funds on the sovereign balance sheet. Because the project company, not the government, borrows the project loans, a project finance structure can provide flexibility, and if the project is properly structured, the government will not need to include the project loans on the sovereign balance sheet. By leveraging the project or financing capital expenses through project finance, sponsors will need to invest less equity. This lowers financing costs by reducing the weighted average cost of capital. Because project company assets are provided as collateral and sponsors do not guarantee the obligations of the project company, sponsors typically only stand to lose their initial investment if the project company becomes insolvent. The sponsor's other assets and infrastructure projects are insulated from liability. This is why project finance is often referred to as non- or limited recourse financing. Financing a PPP with project financing may require higher initial costs than pure government borrowing, but the long-term expected cost to the public may be lower because of lower financing and operating costs. Under a PPP structure, it is not just the government that reviews a project's budget and priorities, but also the private sector. This includes lenders which carefully review a project to make sure it is bankable. A project, such as building a train, is only considered bankable if lenders are confident that it will be completed reasonably on time by reliable, creditworthy contractors and sponsors, be within budget, make enough money to pay back its debt once completed, and can provide its sponsors a reasonable return on investment. Project companies typically generate revenue in one of two ways. In a user pays model, users pay the project company through user fees. Conversely, in a government pays model, the government pays for the availability of the infrastructure through availability payments. Many PPPs are structured using a combination of the two models. Project finance structures are the most common method to fund PPPs. Stay tuned for part two to learn even more detail on this subject. Learn more about PPPs and explore the other resources on our PPP webpage at www.cldp.doc.gov/ppp.